Okay. Let's wait for some people to join up. What up, bro? Hey, thanks, homie. Mike DZ, what's up? All right, so right now I'm just going to show. Let's see, hold on one second. Turn on. Let me... What up? I'm gonna show you how I uh, made this one track that I'm gonna put up tomorrow. Um, I got a lot of messages from my last video, the last uh, track, or the last one I showed myself making uh, making the beat. A lot of people were like, "Oh, show more of what you use and stuff like that." So. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna show you guys quick. Uh, it's gonna be a quick one today because it's already made. I just have to like track it and then uh, put it out and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I did for this one. Let me make sure. All right, so this is the track that uh, it's more of a funky sound. Let me know if you guys can hear it pretty well too. The, the mic is kind of in a lower spot, you know? Like I haven't even really like, went in here and like put all the tracks together, watch. All right, that's what's up. All right, watch. So look, all this is playing right now. Oh, let's move this out the way. <laughs> Sorry. All right, here we go. All right, so here we go. So like you see all this, so here's the, just some roads, real easy. Drums. And then I have a little bass. You might not be able to hear it on there. Um, they move it over. You guys on FL Studio, it's alt and then just move it with the arrows and it'll move over. So alt and then over, 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 over. And it'll work. It'll shift it. Is that one I want to bring here? Hold on one second. I'm doing this one handed. Okay. Oh, and another. Here, let me turn the camera to me. And I'm all also uh, show you what. The exact sounds like from what uh uh this one maybe like this beat took me like i don't know maybe um maybe an hour maybe an hour or so to make you know once i finally got in the groove and i started like actually like letting it letting it out and it was like okay cool like something that i was happy with you know probably like an hour or so so i'm gonna uh also show like what sounds and where the sounds come came from so I'll just be shooting, going back and forth and just do it. stuff out and just making it sound right just stuff like that i'm working bro so 
But this one, um, this one has like a, the guitar. Watch. This one is really, this one I had fun doing. This is with nothing on it. So like here has like a, this little pedal right here made it really funky. This, uh, you kind of see my hand in the reflection, but this is from uh, Waves. Really easy, just simple delay and some EQ. Right, and then this is from, uh, Oh, this one I actually rendered out to make it uh, to save uh, RAM. But this one I know is from Contact. This is on the from the Contact player. It's right here, but I I know that. But it's just right here just to save uh save RAM. So let's see, is that so with just that with the bass and just the guitar? If you guys are uh, with the bass, guitar, and the roads. Oh, bass is from Trillion. You, if you can read it right there, that's the bass. So that's from a uh, a uh, patch in Trillion called. Hold on, let's see. Okay, there we go. Extra padded Tucci R and B mute. So that's that sound. Let's see. Really. Good. Just both the leads in right now. Turn that up a little bit. And then I'm going to add these pads in. So that's kind of, let me see, that's kind of the, the base of the track. It's kind of got some emotion and you'll be able to like hear it a little bit better to, when I put it out tomorrow and you'll be able to like really, really hear what I'm, what I'm doing on this one. So let me go to Job and Sync, how do I, oh, okay, I just have to screen, okay. Um, Yo, do, do a for your eyes only type beat or like a Joey Badass? Um, yeah, I definitely, I do, um, I just put out a track like not too long ago that has a Joey Badass kind of like, it's not, it's more like a Neo Soul kind of vibe, but it has that kind of sound. Go ahead and check it out on my, on my channel, J James Lee. It's on my, it's on my page, so go ahead and check that out. It's, it's pretty dope. It's only like a, uh. Uh, a couple beats back so yeah um a question how much is your gravity beat uh uh mike if you go to my page on my uh on michaelreilly.com it'll show you like all the um all the prices up there and if you shoot me an email at michaelreilly1 at, at gmail.com just let me know what you like let me know what tracks you want or what what you um you know what, what you want to do what you plan on doing and all this stuff and, and we can work from there like no big deal so just give me, shoot me an email. Thanks, bro. Appreciate that. Yeah, thanks. And thank, uh, thanks, 99. That's what's up. All right. So let me. Here. Hold up. All right. So here we go. Now, as far as um the pads and stuff. So now I'll just go through the sounds kind of individually, with like, you know, just. Um, where would be my drums? So, uh, so this one. 
This is one of my favorite favorite synth sounds. If I like, I use this in a ton of my tracks just because I like the way it sounds. It's... And then this phase pad is underneath it just to like, just to give it a little bit of a a different vibe, I guess. Just a little different, not too not too crazy. And as yeah, it kind of sounds like kind of like an alien vibe too with just this right here. Sounds cool. And then the guitar comes in and actually had some rhythm to it. And then now we're at with the drum right here. So hold on. I know I stopped it kind of quick, but not letting me. Okay, so right, so this is the this is the let's see, kind of reminds me of Garden Shed. Yeah, yeah, it has that it has a kind of vibe like that. Um, this one was in the, not too bad to make. This one I first started with the drums actually. I started off with this, and then there's three. There's um, a couple. I chopped it into into a. Uh, these two tracks in Fruity Slicer, if you have FL Studio. And um, how that works is I just took the kicks and the snares off of one track, I cloned it, and then I put it, I put the hi-hat on the other track, just so I can um, EQ it differently, that's all. So like, for example, the hats are on this one, which are EQ like this, you know what I mean? And then the drum, the kick, the snare, you know, has a couple plugins on it where I just so I can just so I can EQ it a little differently to fit fit a little bit better that's all and um but this is the overall track that I'm going to be putting out tomorrow so say okay there we go yeah i'm on my phone again um but it keeps saying if i keep cutting in and out it's just because it's reconnecting but you know uh, the re this track is kind of simple because um you see me how i'm on you see the back screen yeah i'm on my uh <laughs> i'm on my uh phone right here but if you see this is this is just a two bar or yeah it's got four four phrases so it's got just two phrases and that's kind of it you know what I mean? Throughout the whole track. Let's go up and down with. Right? Let's see. Yeah. But anyway, oh, let's see. All right. Oh, thanks, James. That's what's up, bro. Yeah. Be on the lookout for that tomorrow. It'll come. I'm going to put it out tomorrow and you'll hear it and you, yeah, you'll, you'll know what's up for sure. Um, Let's see. There's another track. Um, but anyway, yeah. So these are the sounds that were used. Uh, Lounge Lizard for the uh, roads. Um, like I said before, it was Trillion for the bass. Um, Omnisphere was for the lead. The the um, the little boom 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 boom. Let's watch right here. Oops. I have to unmute all these and go here. This was from Omnisphere right here. Got a really cool sound in that one. And then uh, the guitar was from Contact, like I said. Massive, massive was this pad that I like. Um, this one was also from Omnisphere that I had to uh, render out just to save RAM. And then this phase pad, which is right here. 
This is from Lounge Lizard as well, which I use all. I like Lounge Lizard, and the other lead that I that I rendered out was right here. Watch, it'll come in. Kind of has like an outcast alien sound, right? <laughs> Yep, and that's that one right there. Um, yeah, there we go. See, yeah, that's what it sounded like, that little lead. Um, but anyway, I'm going to uh, get this mapped out and such like that so that... Um, what's up, Zondres? What's happening, bro? Um, and then I'm going to get that mapped out, and then tomorrow will be that track. We'll, um, I'll put this one up. Um, I hope you guys like me doing this because, you know, you know, I'd hope it, it maybe you guys like can learn something or if I can help you guys out with, you know, producing or if you're an artist, you can holler at me and, you know, let me know what's up. If you, you know, like the sounds and stuff that I'm using and, um, you know, I hope, hope you guys do enjoy this. Let's see what. Okay, wait for it. Okay, there we go. So, I find inspiration. Um, somebody who I've been listening to a lot right now, just just because I don't know, just the vibe I've been in is Bill Evans. Um, I've been listening to a lot of his stuff. I'm just been like seeing what he, uh, how he plays and um, his sounds, and it's just kind of cool. This this one isn't specifically sound anything like that, but I've been listening to a lot of him lately. He's an old school cat, old school pianist, jazz pianist, and he's he's really dope. He's really dope. Um, but as a, that's pretty much who I've been listening to a lot lately. Um, yeah, to just just to listen to something new, you know. Uh, yeah, I learned a bit, man, and I'm working my way up with this music joint. I really love to work with you in the future. Yeah, bro, just shoot me an email, man. At any t bro, like any time, let me know what's up. Any time, let me know what's good. You guys, I put my email in the description every time. Like, don't be shy to holla at me. Like, you know what I mean? Don't be shy to let me know what you're doing and let me know what you're working on. You know what I'm saying? I'll let you guys know what I'm working on just like right now. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I want to do this more often, you know? Okay, I'm back. There we go. I want to do this more often. I'm going to do it when I have... Wait, is it working? No. Have I heard some of Robert Glasper's tracks? Yeah. I've heard of... Um, one of my favorite tracks is, if you go look it up, I don't know if you heard it, it's called Afro Blue with him and Erica Badu. Man. I, that's one of my favorite tracks. I love that track. I love that track. That track is... Man. I love that song. But anyway, uh, yep, that, that's my jam. I, I love that track. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'm going to, uh, next time I'm on here, I'm thinking about doing actually where you guys can see my screen, actually like putting it there. So like, I don't know, it's like the screen, screen capture program where like it shows the screen and then maybe I can have, I have a little, I have this little mic or this little camera right here. It's not that crazy, but it, it'll work. And then you guys can see me and I can show you everything that I do and just get you guys more involved in how I work and, and what I do around here. Just, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think I think that'd be cool. I think that'd be dope to, to do that. Um, but yeah, so, and by the next time I, you know, I wanna, I wanna, I'm gonna probably try that out. Yeah, exactly. Rather than holding the shit up, like from one hand and flipping it and doing all this extra shit to it. Uh, it'd probably be easy just to get it down like that so you guys can just all right let's see did it reconnect yet okay all right there we go and so yeah it'll be easier that way and and because um i'll be ha i'll be on like a better network you know what i mean so it doesn't so it stops interrupting and reconnecting and stuff like that 
Um, but this other track that I'm working on, I think, I think you guys will like that. I, I, thanks, bro. I appreciate that uh, idea. The live videos help connect you with the producer. I can tell the vibe is crazy. Really do. Yeah, bro. It's fun. I just have fun. I. That's it, man. I just if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and I just forget about it, and then I move on. You know what I mean? Um, but uh, forgot what I was gonna say. But yeah, so next time I'm gonna be doing it like that, so that way. You know, you guys can kind of be there and, and I just don't know how I was going to say, I don't know how. Okay, and we're back. Um, quick before I go. Um, yeah, so we'll do that next time in that way. It'll be a lot more, a lot smoother, and I'll be here and I'll be working. And if something works, then it's cool, and you guys can vibe with me. And if not, you guys can still vibe with me. It'll be, it'll be dope as fuck. It'll be chill. Um, it'll probably next. Come on. And yes, bro, that shit's getting me pissed off right now. Cause it'd be chill if I could just talk. But anyway. Uh, stay tuned for that. It'll be next. I'm putting this beat up tomorrow, but I'll be on next week and the next setup is going to be a little bit different. So like, just come, come through and holla at me. So y'all have a good one. And I appreciate, uh, appreciate you guys fucking with me. I do appreciate that shit. You guys keep me going. Y'all make this shit like possible for me to keep doing this. You know what I'm saying? For real. I really fuck with that. I appreciate that. Real talk. Definitely bro. For sure, homie. All right, then y'all, y'all have a good one. All right. Peace.